What's up guys, welcome back, this is Mototech. Flux recently announced that WordPress hosting service is now live on Flux Cloud. What does that mean and what does it look like? Today I'm going to try it out and give you my honest opinions. So first, what is WordPress? WordPress is a generic web framework. For people who want to create a web app or website but don't really want to code or don't know how to code, WordPress is the great option. But this doesn't mean that WordPress cannot create complex web apps. All that means is that WordPress has tons of pre-built functionalities to save you months of time while building a website or make your life so much easier while maintaining your website. You can use WordPress to build web apps with all kinds of complexities. There are many WordPress hosting services out there. For example, GoDaddy, Namecheap are some of the well-known ones. At the same time, they're also known for providing domain name purchase services. So first, let's go to Bunny Analyst website to see how many people are using Flux for WordPress. Monthly revenue increase. WordPress is definitely number one, meaning in the past month, a lot more people are starting to spin up WordPress servers on Flux. The monthly overall revenue, we see WordPress is currently at the third place and it has a pretty big lead comparing to the fourth place. Since WordPress has just released, I won't be surprised in the next couple of months, WordPress will become the number one revenue generator for Flux. All right, let's see, how can we start making a website? Looks like they have WordPress on the main page. Click, and this brings us to Flux Cloud launch site let's click that so it brings us to this beta page this also looks like the flux storage page oh check this out it has best practice and guide it actually has a official documentation step by step how to set this up awesome so let's create something and we'll put our business contact for email domain name is optional i imagine that flux will give you a flux domain name and then at the same time if you want to use your own all you got to do is purchase one and add here and maybe add another cnm record wherever you bought your domain Name. payment length 12 months see how much actually it doesn't calculate the cost right away we we'll probably have to go through the rest of it wireless ip for backup restore not gonna do this right now it looks like we can only choose one standard one core cpu one gigabytes of ram and 20 gigabytes of ssd sign the terms i imagine pretty long term uh not gonna go read all of these right now click agree oh it asks you to log in i imagine this is our core okay and sign in once you've done that it will tell you it's authenticated and we do validate and get cost 82 flux which is 50 dollars 50 dollars dot 62 divided by 12. So that's about $4.21 per month. What if we choose one month? It's already authenticated and validate cost will be $4.22. All right, so it doesn't look like you would get any discount by selecting more months at once. However, I would imagine it will become less of a headache because you don't have to every single month come over here and repay it. You just pay everything at once. So let's do this again. Let's just do one month, validate, get Zelco signature, sign the signature and close it. Once it's signed, register that pending payment. So now I have to use Zelcor to pay. Proceed to pay. It's going to charge us 6.84 flux. And since there's not a lot of traffic going on here, uh, we're just going to choose one sat. Yes to send. All right. So the transaction is sent. We'll just have to wait for this page to finish scanning. It's probably going to take four minutes. I believe the average block time is two minutes. Awesome. Payment is confirmed. Open your WordPress to get started. So now it shows us our URL for our WordPress website. So if you have a C name created for this link, then I guess you could use your own domain name too. It says propagating allow up to two hours. Does that mean that we cannot access our server right now? It doesn't look like it. Okay, it looks like it's finally done. Let's take a look. Let's click on this URL. This brings us to our WordPress server admin setup, putting a username and password. Now you can use your username that you set up and your password pretty painless this is where we manage our website so now this is what it looks like when some random person comes to your website what they see of course if you want to create this as a shopping website or whatever you want you want a user logging you want a back-end database and all that can be done too it is pretty easy next thing i do want to bring this site to gt metrics and actually check it out 
to see how the performance is. This is actually pretty good. So we got an A grade, performance is 100%. Structure is 99%. I mean, I, I really haven't done anything to the site. Took about half a second to load the largest component from the website and there's nothing blocking the website from loading. So overall, this looks great. We look at all the performance index, everything is green. The way I see this service, there's gonna be different people using Flux service, right? There's the ones that will do their everything by themselves create their own website own web app and all that and then you have these website management service let's say a small business you decide to open one and you don't want to do all the technical work to set up a website so you go look for somebody else to manage your website for you you basically tell them all the requirements and then they build it for you right so that management company they can come over and use flux service and build everything from here and of course when they are choosing what service to use there are a lot of things they have to look at one of the main thing they're going to look at is cost low cost pay by specs super cheap starting from 0.0067 dollars per day and when we look at the four dollar i believe uh, just a little bit over four dollar per month i definitely have seen some other hosting services promising that type of price but i don't think they're providing the same amount of redundancy when we talk about redundancy we're talking about uptime which is another very important aspect if you're a website management service you have some sort of sla service level agreement with your client who wants to build a website. So if you have one day of downtime, you may be violating that. Flux automatically comes with three instances and they're synced across the board. There's another problem here I'm seeing. At least I don't see the solution or I don't see the documentation anywhere. Some services there offer you of peak season or during a DDoS attack, existing CPU or RAM just not going to support it. Their other service will say you can set up if the CPU usage is over 70 or 80%, it automatically add so many cores so much computing resource as far as i know that is not a feature yet for flux auto scaling is definitely something flux should look into something else we need to consider is server location and server numbers there are many services out there you cannot pick server locations unfortunately however for flux if you remember when we were doing uh, our deployment, it tells us to pick and choose whatever location we want. You can choose North America, South America, or whatever other regions. I think in the future, it should open up more detail. For example, North America, I want it to be in the US instead of being in Canada, either for legal reasons or for just maximized performance. And it would be also nice to pick, let's say I want three cores, or 30% of my compute in North America, and I want 20% of my compute in South America, and then maybe another 50% in Europe, and more than just this very simple, hey, performance, I want one core CPU, and it, it's stuck in North America. Your business are global these days, and it would be nice to optimize your performance for customers in different regions. Payments, that's something I also want to talk about. I had to pay with Flux using Zellcore. This thing does say I can use credit card. However, I didn't see any options. Did I just miss it? Maybe because it's still in beta, but definitely I would like to pay with my credit card or debit card instead of having to go through Zellcore every single time to pay. People who don't like crypto, they will also bring in liquidity for the Flux network. Overall, it will be good for the Flux network. You don't want to make it mandatory for for other business, especially enterprise, to buy crypto and buy your service. So this is our first look with Flux WordPress server. There's definitely more to improve and I'm very excited about this. So what do you think? If you learn something new, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And this definitely won't be the last time we're gonna look at Flux's WordPress service, but we're gonna stop here for today. So thank you for watching. I'm Monotech. I will see you next time.